All right, well, I'm going to move on then. Okay, so that was NXT. Let's move on to the real angles of the week. So we should go to SmackDown, right? Because some good stuff happened on SmackDown with the Bloodline and Cody and KO and everything. So I'll go through the angle real quick, just some pictures, and then I'll go through some reviews of what our guys thought of this angle from SmackDown. So today's angle, I called it KO's frustration with Cody almost boils over as Cody's help costs KO and Orton against the bloodline. So let me show you guys what happened. So Orton came out to open the show, and he addressed the big elephant in the room. And he immediately went to Cody's teaming with Roman, and after everything we've been through, which was what KO was talking about, but he never got a chance to address it. So Cody comes out, and Orton has asked Cody to come out, right? So. Yeah. Cody comes out, and the explanation he gives is that he's taken Roman's word that they're going to take out the bloodline, Solo's bloodline, which must be killed, he said. But he's the reason he's taken Roman's word is because Roman's word has always been good, because when he said, I'll do anything to keep this title, he did. That was Cody's reasoning for saying Roman is a trustable guy. When he gives his word, I guess. So... He goes, look, Solo's bloodline has to be killed, and I hope that's not a problem for you, Randy. And Randy says, yeah, it's not a problem for me unless you make it a problem. So, all right. And then KO comes out because he's involved in this, right? Because if it wasn't for KO and Orton, Cody would have never beaten Roman at WrestleMania. So, before again, before Cody could talk, Solo and the bloodline come out. Solo says, all three of you guys have tried to stop us, and you can't do it, and that's why... Cody is teaming with Roman and then that pisses KO off who challenges them to a tag match for the night and then Cody wants in he's like why don't we make this a six man and KO's like nah 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 you're you're busy right you're busy you got your match with the bloodline already let's just make it me and Orton tonight so that's how they set up the main event of Smackdown this past Friday all right it's KO and Orton against Jacob Fatu and Solo so here's a backstage segment later on where uh, they were talking, they wanted Cody wanted to talk it out, right? And Orton was like, "No, nah, I don't want to talk about it." He wants everyone to focus on their own thing, and he doesn't want Cody to get involved in their match tonight, right? So KO can't focus on two things at once. He's like, "Let me focus on this tonight," and you know, I, I don't know. So, so he walks off, and then Orton's like, "Look, I know KO said don't get involved, but we might need you because they're gonna have us outnumbered it's in the main event." And then, which he was right. So the Tongans come out. They call them the Tongans now. So I'm I'm happy to call them that too because for a while I was calling them Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa. So <laughs> they're the they're the Tongans, okay? So they come out, and Cody does come out. So here's Cody. So he joins the fray. And then I think what happened was Jacob Fatu threw Cody into the ring, and Cody ran into the ref. So that's how Cody kind of. Uh, blew it for his team because that led to the bloodline winning and then here's KO scolding Cody for even being there and then he takes a kick to the face from Jacob Fatu which leads to Solo's pinfall all right and then the drama after the match obviously is that KO is going to be pissed at, at Cody and he actually pushes him right and, and Orton's going to come in and try to be like the uh, the peacemaker right what are you doing what are you doing and Gordon KO gets in Cody's face pretty good here. You know, it looked like it could become a fight, but in the end, uh, Orton calms him down. The bloodline's laughing. Look at them. Look at them. Ha. They're not united. All right. Well, and then in the end, they hug it out. KO and Cody hug it out. So there's my review of this. All three of us gave this a thumbs up on our uh, rating system. Here's the Malapert Smart podcast rating system, if anyone's unfamiliar. But three united, unanimous thumbs up from the three of us. Okay, so I want some comments. I want to start with Robert this time. Robert, what do you think? I give you 90 seconds on the clock. You can use as much of it as you want. Uh, give us some thoughts about this past Friday SmackDown and where you think this is headed. All right. Quite a few things to go over there. So yes. when, when Randy Orton uh, at the very beginning said, it's not a problem for me unless you make it a problem. And then, then they got interrupted. I, I thought that was, I, I was glad that happened only because, um, the, the, the Cody, Cody Rhodes feud that I've been wanting to see most often ever since he finished his story, it was a feud with Randy Orton. I think that is, 
that is the go-to feud for him. That that's like the major feud that they should uh, head towards. And I think they planted the seed there. It's um, not not much to happen there, but yeah, at least they planted the seed there that there could be an issue later on down the line. Uh, With number two and Cody. Yes. Okay. Interesting. That's, All right. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I, Sorry, one of, one of them is going to turn on each other. I don't know which one. What Maybe Randy Orton, but. But uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're going to feud at some point. Um, and then regarding Kevin Owens, um, this angle for me is infinitely more in- interesting than what uh, what happened with like last month when he didn't want to challenge for the title and refused to fight Cody unless he was you know, until he was like pushed. He had no choice to do it. Like this is so much better. All right, there, there's actual conflict now, and and. It felt um, organic. It makes sense why he's pissed off at mm. Cody Rose, especially after all the things that the bloodline did to him uh, last year and earlier this year as well. So, uh, in his position, I'd be I would be angry at Cody also. Uh, the only thing I I think the reason why I didn't give it two thumbs up and just and just one is because they keep um, they're like prolonging this turn from uh, I, I'm assuming it's going to be KO where he's going to eventually uh, turn on Cody uh, they keep teasing it week after week after week it's kind of like all right and if, if it's going to happen we're going to just happen now um, but otherwise it was a good segment all right then Vlad let's hear your review on this also a thumbs up from Vlad yeah I mean I thought it was pretty good I'm, I'm just trying to see if I agree that Kevin Owens should be as pissed off as he should be just because Cody is teaming with Roman to try to take on or take out this new bloodline. I mean, I guess in a sense, he could be pissed like, why are you teaming with Roman? But I don't know. I mean, it, it seems a little like he's a little too hot headed about it. But I mean, whatever. Okay. Uh, as far as who, who should do the turning or who shouldn't be the turning. I mean, obviously I think the bigger or the better food would for for Cody would be for Randy to, to be the one that turns heel on him, right? Because right, first of all, Randy Orton is a tremendous heel, much better than he is a babyface. So it's just bound to happen. I, I agree with Robert. It's just a matter of when. With K- KO, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just I'm not his biggest fan. His character is just I don't know. It just the, something about the, it the, the one scene way. that annoyed me was the one where he wants everyone to focus on their match and we don't we can't talk about it right now like why can't we talk about it right now this is what's on your mind last week you were going to cut a promo on this right. and now you don't want to talk about it. so that one backstage segment that yeah. kind of bothered me i feel like they're just prolonging know. it he's just always he's always bitching about something it's, it's <laughs> the character like it's just so annoying like after a while it's like dude he complains about every goddamn thing uh you know so, don't you don't, know. so, so you're not a kevin owens fan all right no all right. I, I mean i mean i i agree with robert though on potential i don't know when it's going to happen but orton has to turn on cody and that's going to be some sort of big time feud i i would think so if it's who has to do it it has to be randy for the for the better you know for the better promo or for the better I kinda, program i kind of just see them turning ko because I don't think KO is any good as a as a baby face. You say Orton is is better as a heel. Okay, I get yeah. that, but KO is no good at all as a baby face. <laughs> and <laughs> so I would I would be happy to see him turn heel oh. personally. I mean, you can't turn, I, I think you it should have happened. I think no, well, no. That, that's why this Randy Orton thing. I think they're kind of save that for further down the line because yeah. that's not going to be WrestleMania this year, may unless you know, but maybe, but. I kind of see that maybe down the line of a couple years, maybe or something. I, I, don't, I, don't see, I, I think it could. Well, I guess I, I just don't see Orton turning face. Do. It's just, just in my bones, like what I feel. My gut feeling is that Orton's not going to turn heel, but that's just okay. my gut feeling. I so. mean, you could be right. I, I don't know. We know we don't really know what they're planning. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, let's move on. 